It's a pleasure for me to be here on the inaugural function of the CME on sleep disorder organized by the Department of Medicine, Government Medical College, Srinagar. For those of us who sleep well, we can all realize it's a blessing from Almighty, but for there are people who don't sleep well, and for that it's important that the causes need to be explored. We feel happy today that in GMC together, today we can boast of having three sleep labs, one in the Department of Neurology Super Specialty Hospital, one at Chest Disease Hospital, and today in SMHS Hospital. So these are the uh, equipments and these labs are required in tertiary care hospitals where a scientific approach can be dwelled upon in treating patients who face these problems. I compliment the Department of uh, Medicine for organizing this CME so that all the, uh, like the, all the delegates are educated about the various sleep disorders and whatever needs to be done for these patients, those problem things are deliberated on today and at the same time we can reach out to them and help them out. Uh, at GMC Srinagar, as I always say, we encourage our faculty to organize these CMEs and workshops so that all our students and of course the faculty they remain abreast with the latest in their respective uh, department and keep pace with the latest advancement. And that is the idea of these CMEs. So with these words, I hope all the attending delegates will have an academic feast in the deliberations that, will be, that are going on today regarding this CME on sleep disorders. Thank you. Professor Dr. Ifat Hassan Shah, ma'am. Being a pioneer in the field of dermatology, Ifat ma'am has time and again proved to be a great visionary, inspiring us all with her dynamicity. Thank you, ma'am, for gracing this occasion. This CME aims not only to upgrade our knowledge and skills in the diagnosis and management of sleep disorders, but more importantly, it is an awareness program to know about the various types of sleep disorders which we are facing day in and day out. ST faculty members have carefully crafted a comprehensive program for this program. Now let's work together and enhance our understanding and management of sleep disorders, ultimately improving the patient outcome. Sleep disorders are a group of conditions that disturbs our normal sleep pattern. It involves a multidisciplinary approach. It involves the internist, pulmonologist, neurologist, otolaryngologist, cardiologist, psychiatrist, and clinical psychologists for treatment and management. So it's a time now we should overcome this, what have been the sleeping over these sleep disorders. It's a wake-up call to address this problem. We don't have to sleep on our health. It's a time to wake up to a better sleep and let's sleep much smarter now. Thank you for the patient hearing and I wish you a productive and enlightening CME. Thanks. Healthy sleep is a basic human need and a high priority for survival. There is a great requirement for emphasis on sleep health in education, clinical practice, long time inpatient care and public health promotion. In workplaces even, you will see less frayed tempers and better productivity after a night of restful slumber. I'm sure the veritable academic feast interspersed with interactive sessions will inspire slumber in all of us once the day is done. I end with Nietzsche's words, both cryptic and true. Sleeping is no mean art. For its sake, one must stay awake all day. Thank you.